Freeman Feasts. What's up, Feasties? Haven't done a milkshake video in a while. So I got my guy, Avery Pop, in here. Good friend of mine. And we got Steak and Shake. Steak and Shake? Avery, what flavor did you get? I got Snickers. Snickers. Do you want my cherry? Uh, Sure. Cherries are very gross. Don't know where that like originated from, putting them on a milkshake. I don't know if we've had too many, but this is an anti-cherry on milkshake channel. Steak and Shake, look at that. First of all. We know, I've gone over the criteria of a good milkshake before, but giant straw, giant straw. How much of it does straw play into the milkshakeness? I need a big straw. Need a big I straw. Feel like, I mean, it's easier to get it out. You yeah, know? the suction. The suction is way better with way a bigger better. straw. And yeah, I don't want to be there just sucking on a straw and nothing's coming up. Apparently, At that point, just get a, get a spoon. What about a frosty? A frosty. Do you try to suck a frosty? No, I usually eat that with a spoon. You try you yeah. spoon a frosty? Until it melts and then I just drink it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But cheers. We'll take the first sip. We're doing cheers. the first sip a little early. Avery's from Minnesota. I'm from Montana. Both cold M states. What is your opinion on people that like whenever it gets 50, they start, you know, putting on the parkas and the oh, snow I mean, boots? 50 is shorts weather still. Yeah. I'd say, I'd even say 40 is shorts weather. I mean, yeah, you can go in that territory, especially when I lived in Minnesota for a long time. I was way more used to the cold than I am now. Now I'm, I'm getting up to like 50 is pretty cold. I'll, I'll wear a sweatshirt. Yeah. But I mean, I freshman year of high school, I wore shorts the entire year. And that was one of the years where it went to negative 60. So yeah, yeah. See, I I've, still wore shorts though. I mean, who cares? Change my mind. The best outfit comfortability wise is gym shorts and a hoodie and it's like 50 degrees oh 50 like 45 spring, degrees especially in spring yeah yeah 45 50 yes, degrees yes. right in the morning that is peak existence for anyone going to the gym or mm. even just walking around yes my favorite outfit is shorts and a long sleeve tee but it's same oh, yeah, kind yeah. of the same thing I, going with this I, I think a hoodie i don't think there's an article of clothing better than hoodies maybe sweatpants i love hoodies yeah but sweatpants sweatpants at a movie Oh, I, no. see, are you pro or anti blanket at a movie? Uh, I don't want to be that guy to have a blanket at a movie. Yeah. I, if, if the girls want to have a blanket, go right ahead. I'm not going to blame guys for having two, True. but personally, I'll just wear sweatpants. I mean, I will shame them. If you're a man, you should not bring a blanket to the movie theater at all. And keep your shoes on. What is it with people taking their shoes off at the movie theater? I don't want to smell what you've been stepping in for the past 36 hours. I take my shoes off. But I usually go with with slides on. Okay, okay, okay. I, I understand I, that. I, it is different when people yeah, yeah. have shoes and they take their shoes yes, off. Yes. Shoes I understand stink. the slides. I understand the slides. Because yes, I've, yeah. I've done that before with the slides. Because yeah. a slide isn't a shoe, it's yeah. a slide. Yeah. It's meant to be taken off. So I, I just have my socks. But I if you got socks, like yeah. work boots. Oh, yeah. Totally. Or like if you have an actual shoe, not a slide. But it's only acceptable if you have flip-flops on. Or if you have socks on. Yeah, if you can't. You, no, if you're barefoot, if you, do if not. If you got flops, no. no. Keep it in the flop. Exactly. I agree. Anyway. Socks and flops. My producer's telling me we got to get to the milkshakes. Oh, so. yeah. We should probably take a sip. Cheers. Cheers. Dang it, sink it. Mm. Shout out, Red and Link. I'm glad you got that reference. Wow. I can't remember the last time I had a steak and shake. Mm. Uh, shake. Best M&M. What do you think is the best M&M? Man, my favorite and the one I go more often is the peanut. Okay. See, I'm a big mini guy. I think the uh, mini. Bro, I was just about to say no, that's no, my, you that's, weren't. That's my sleeper pick. Is oh minis my gosh, are dude. so good. Minis. I get a handful. There's something about them being small that I just enjoy more. The candy to chocolate ratio, I is think, is better. Way better. Oh my gosh, we just bonded. Oh gosh, this is really good though. I got the pretzel. The pretzel M and M's. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. I have. I can't tell you the last time I had that, but I've thought I have a really good idea for like a party. You get like seven different types of M and M's, and you put them all in a bowl. It's like an M and M trail mix. Mmm. Okay. Well, it's I like, mean, exactly. You get like some peanut, some normal, mm -hmm. some pretzel, some mint, some you're getting, almond. You're getting chocolate every time. So it's and you're always chocolate good. every time. So it's always good. Um. Man, this is. Really good, actually. Mm. But, you know, M&M's, they do have a bad one that I think is not good. 
and that is the fudge. A uh, fudge? I'm not sure I've ever had a fudge, M&M. The fudge? It's just too much. At yeah. that point, just separate the two. True. You know, we don't need too much they, going they on. They do too much. I think once yeah. I tried, like, a chocolate mm -hmm. Skittle, that yeah. was disgusting. Two different types of chocolate in, in a dish or a dessert or whatever is not good. You no. need to split it up. Or have... You gotta have... You have, it, you have to have it with uh, contradicting flavors almost. Yeah. So, someone... There was a subscriber that commented a question. Who's your favorite vice president? My favorite vice president. Hmm. Hmm. Thomas Jefferson. When was he vice president again? Was he not Washington's vice president? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I don't know that many vice presidents. Not Kamala. If you could be any secretary in the presidential cabinet, which one would you be? Oh, man. The... Don't they have like a spiritual one? I don't think so. Maybe I just make that. It's up. the government. Why would they have a spiritual one? That was what? a good one. Yeah, come on, facts. Um, I don't know. Uh, education. I feel like I could help fix the education Ooh, system. Okay. Yeah. I'll probably be energy. Shout out. Energy's good. Shout out my dad. He works for an energy company. Shout out Kevin's dad. Yeah, yeah. What he up? works at energy. Shout what? out Kevin's what dad. What up, Kevin? Kevin. Shout, shout, shout out, out Kevin. Avery's dad works for the Minnesota Vikings. Yes, he does. Shout out Avery's dad. Shout out Steve. Not don't shout out the Vikings. This is a Packers. Skull channel. baby. Skull Vikings. Go pack go. All we do is win. Well, speaking of Packers, how do you feel about their draft last night? And their drafting of Luke Von what was Luke Van something Van, Van something. Uh DN from Iowa. Yep. Oh that was good. I mean I think we need to keep investing in our defense. But uh I think we got a lot of guys. The Packers are really good at developing people. Mm-hmm. So I'm excited for how they developed Christian Watson. I think he's going to be a, a beast and a half. I think Jordan Love is going to surprise a lot of people. I do think he is. I mean, we got one of the best running back rooms in the in the league, at least in the NFC North, with A.J. Dillon and Aaron mm -hmm. Jones. We got a lot of old vets. Got a really good offensive line, so I'm happy. What about you? Do you, you, you think you guys need to move on from Kirk, or do you think you can ride Kirk? Uh, It seems like we're going to move on with – from Kirk after the year. I like Kirk. I think you can win a Super Bowl with Kirk if you have the right pieces and the right defense. We had the worst defense in the league last year. And last night, we drafted a wide receiver, which, honestly, we might have Justin Jefferson as the best in the league, but we do need a wide receiver, too. And hopefully Jordan Addison can do that for us. But, obviously, I'm scared for our defense. We made a few moves over the offseason. Did you get rid of Thielen? Thielen's on the Panthers now, oh, okay. which was actually very sad. If you guys know Adam Thielen, he grew up in Minnesota, went to Minnesota State, and undrafted free agent. Not even undrafted free agent. He was a he was a walk on like tryout. Oh wow! Guy. And uh, yeah, so and then he ended up being awesome for us. So yeah, I'm gonna miss him. But back, back to the milkshake. Yeah. What do you uh, What do you look for viscosity wise? So like whenever you pull that out. Like, how much drippage should there be? Also, look at those M&Ms on there. That's awesome. You know, I don't know if it's, we waited too long, but it, I think this is very drippy, if you can see there. Yeah. Which isn't a bad thing. It's like a five-minute drive. Yeah. I don't mind it being melty. Um, Because, I mean, we're drinking it through a straw. It, it Go Army. Mean, yeah. Shout out Army. Shout out Army. Shout out Army. Veteran. Mind, yeah, but I don't mind it yeah. being more liquidy. Okay. What is your what's your ranking on this? Have you even taken a sip? Show the people. You've been well, okay. Well, like I'm not drinking it. I'm sipping it. I'm tasting it. I'm I'm experiencing the flavors. I'm not just uh, going in and chugging it down. I'm not saying that's a bad thing. We just do it in two different ways. Yeah, yeah. But let me. That's a great thing about milkshakes is everyone can enjoy them in their own way. I'm telling you, this is really good. I can't remember the last time I had an actual milkshake though. So I I might just have like a rookie score. Um. I'll go in decimals, though, out of 10, I'm assuming. Yeah. Um, one sip, everyone knows the laws. One yeah, one sip, everyone knows what? the laws. The laws. Yeah, true. We can't. We got to be careful with that. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to go 8, 9. Mm. I'm going to go 8, 9. It's good, man. I mean, I don't know what to say. I like this one. It's really, really good, but it's very, like... I don't want. I want to score the milkshake, not the M and M's, because the M and M's are M and M's. I think are a nine nine. Yeah. Candy. But I mean, they are the M and M's are integral to the integrity of the milkshake. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go eight seven. Eight seven. Okay. Eight seven quality milkshake. 
Mm-hmm. Really good. M&M's. Just, it gets down to it, you know? Yeah. It, 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 it serves. It, it, it does its time, you know? Sponsor at Steak and Shake. We'll gladly be sponsored. Steak and Shake. Sponsor Kellen. Sponsor Shut. Six Man. Six Foot Man Eats uh, Chicken. Freeman Feast. Freeman Feast. Sorry. Uh, same difference. Um, yeah. This is good, man. The whipped cream is terrible, though. Yeah. You got to have Cool Whip on there. Cool Whip's fire. Not Cool Ranch, but Cool Whip. Cool Ranch would not be good on this. No. But you could try it. You could definitely try it. Thank you, Feasties. That's the episode. Thank you for coming to watch Milkshakes with LaFonda. Avery, thank you for joining us. Appreciate it. Thank you, Colin. Have a good day, Feasties. Stay hungry.